The Runaway Black Hole In the silent, infinite sea of space, where time itself seems to pause, something extraordinary has emerged. Amidst countless stars and endless darkness, a discovery has shaken the foundations of modern astronomy. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful window into the cosmos, has once again rewritten what we thought we knew about the universe. Only weeks after uncovering one of the earliest known galaxies, Webb captured something no one expected. A supermassive black hole, not resting at a galactic center as usual, but escaping from its home galaxy at unimaginable speed. Unlike typical black holes that sit in quiet dominance, drawing in everything that drifts too close, this one is on the move, racing through intergalactic space at nearly 4 million miles per hour. At that velocity, it could travel from Earth to the Moon in just a few minutes. It's a cosmic projectile, a force of nature breaking free from its gravitational chains. Across observatories on Earth, astronomers stared at their screens in disbelief. Black holes, by their nature, consume all that surrounds them, even light. Yet this one was doing the unthinkable, moving against gravity's rulebook. It wasn't just drifting, it was fleeing. But the real astonishment came next. As this runaway black hole sped through vast clouds of interstellar gas, it wasn't leaving behind destruction, it was leaving behind creation. The shockwaves from its passage compressed hydrogen gas, triggering the birth of new stars in its wake. Behind it glows a brilliant ribbon of starlight stretching nearly 200,000 light years long, twice the width of our Milky Way. In its trail, chaos becomes beauty. Destruction transforms into creation. Darkness gives rise to light. Led by Yale astrophysicist Professor Peter Van Dockum, scientists analyzed the web data and confirmed this breathtaking phenomenon. Even NASA's Hubble telescope later verified the observation, leaving no room for doubt. What once seemed impossible had become undeniable fact. A black hole can also be a creator. This cosmic traveler, a monster turned maker, challenges everything we believed about gravity and energy. Every law of physics seemed to bend as this object carved light from the void. It was no longer just a destroyer, it was a sculptor of the stars. In the glow of its wake lies a profound truth. Even the darkest forces in the universe can spark creation. This runaway black hole reminds humanity that the cosmos is far stranger, far more wondrous, and far more alive than we've ever dared to imagine. It's a paradox in motion, a contradiction proving that even within darkness, there is light. And as the James Webb Space Telescope continues to look deeper into the past, collecting ancient light that has traveled billions of years, it reminds us of something profound. The universe is not silent. It speaks, through light, through motion, through mystery, whispering that creation and destruction are one and the same. ARP 220, The Shining Merger While scientists were still grappling with the mystery of the runaway black hole, Webb turned its gaze toward another cosmic marvel. ARP 220, a galaxy unlike any other. This colossal system blazes with the light of a trillion suns, making it one of the brightest galaxies ever seen. Its brilliance can outshine nearly any object in the nearby universe, a beacon glowing from 250 million light years away in the ancient constellation Serpents. But ARP 220 is not a single galaxy, it is the aftermath of a cosmic collision. Hundreds of millions of years ago, two massive spiral galaxies collided and merged, twisting their shapes into chaos. Their spiral arms shredded, their cores fused, and billions of stars were thrown into new orbits, all under the relentless pull of gravity. The result was a starburst, an explosion of new star formation within a region only 5,000 light years across. Webb detected over 200 dense star clusters each packed into an area smaller than 100 the size of the Milky Way, but with just as much gas and dust. 
Radio telescopes have revealed more than 100 supernova remnants in that region. They're powerful blast scattering elements that will form new worlds and stars. Imagine a fireworks display where every spark is a sun, a cosmic celebration of destruction giving rise to creation. Hubble once revealed the outer structure of this galaxy, swirling rings of gas and stars. But Webb, peering through the veils of dust, uncovered details never seen before, tidal tails stretch like ghostly ribbons, drawn out by gravity's invisible hand. These glowing streams of stars are the scars of collision, marks of chaos and rebirth intertwined. At ARC-220's core, glowing filaments of red, blue, and amber twist through darkness, each hue marking regions rich with complex organic molecules, the same ingredients that can give rise to life. Infrared images show clouds of dust shimmering like dying embers, where young stars are being born. Every spark, every pulse of energy within this galaxy tells the same timeless story, that destruction and creation are forever linked. ARP 220 stands as a living monument to the universe's endless cycle of renewal. Where one generation of stars ends, another begins. Where galaxies collide, new light is born. Through Webb's eyes, ARP 220 appears not as ruin, but as resurrection. A cosmic phoenix rising from the ashes of collision, blazing with the energy of a trillion suns. It is a reminder that the universe's most violent moments can produce the most in the vast, eternal darkness of the universe, where silence stretches beyond imagination. There lies a truth both haunting and beautiful. Destruction is not the end. It is transformation. For billions of years, stars have lived, died, and been reborn in a cosmic cycle that shapes everything we know. From the dust of ancient suns came planets, oceans, and life itself. Every atom in our bodies was once forged in the heart of a dying star. And now, once again, the universe reminds us, that even in chaos, there is creation. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's golden eye in the heavens, continues to push the limits of our understanding. Its mirrors, polished to absolute perfection, stretch their gaze across time itself, catching whispers of light that began their journey billions of years ago. Each photon it collects is a messenger from the past, a fragment of the universe's memory, revealing how galaxies were born, how stars ignited, and how the first elements came to be. But what Webb has recently uncovered goes beyond science, it touches the very essence of cosmic truth. Far beyond the Milky Way, Webb observed something unimaginable, a runaway black hole, racing through intergalactic space at millions of miles per hour. Not anchored to a galaxy, not bound by gravity's grip, but free, blazing its own path across the void. As it tears through clouds of interstellar gas, its passage sends shockwaves rippling through the cosmos. And within those ripples, something extraordinary happens. Gas collapses. Pressure builds. Stars ignite. In its wake stretches a river of light, 200,000 light years long, a glowing trail of newborn stars shining where there was once only emptiness. A destroyer turned creator. A paradox in motion. A reminder that even darkness can give birth to light. Astronomers struggled to comprehend what they were witnessing. How could the universe's most destructive force become a source of creation? How could something that devours light forge the very stars that make it? And yet, it did. In that revelation lies a timeless lesson. The cosmos is not bound by human logic. It writes its own poetry, one written in gravity and fire, silence and light. Every explosion, every collision, every collapse, all are steps in the grand dance of existence. The universe destroys so that it may create a new. And then came another discovery, ARP 220, a galaxy glowing with the light of a trillion suns. A shining merger, the aftermath of two galaxies colliding in a cosmic embrace hundreds of millions of years ago. 
When these titans met, chaos erupted. Spiral arms shattered. Stars were flung into darkness. But amid the wreckage, Webb revealed something astonishing. A storm of new stars bursting into life at breathtaking speed. Within a region just 5,000 light years across, over 200 dense star clusters emerged. Each one a cradle of new suns, blazing with energy. Radio telescopes even captured the echoes of more than a hundred supernovae, colossal explosions seeding the universe with the building blocks of planets, oceans, and life. Through Webb's infrared eyes, the dense clouds of dust glow like embers in a dying fire. Filaments of red, gold, and blue swirl together, each color marking complex organic molecules, the same kind that, across eons, can lead to the chemistry of life. These filaments tell a single story of rebirth. Where galaxies collide, new beauty emerges. Where gravity tears, creation heals. ARC 220 is not just a galaxy. It is a phoenix, rising from the ashes of cosmic destruction, shining as proof that death in the universe is never truly final. Every discovery Webb makes, every frame of light it captures, reveals a deeper truth about existence itself. Destruction is not chaos. It is renewal. From every collapse comes a chance for something new to be born. Stars die so that worlds can rise. Galaxies collide so that light may spread anew. And through it all, the universe continues to evolve, endlessly, beautifully, purposefully. Webb's golden mirrors now stretch ever deeper into the past, searching for the first flicker of starlight, the moment when darkness itself became luminous. And perhaps one day, through those mirrors, we will glimpse not just how the universe began, but why it began at all. Because in the end, every discovery tells the same eternal story. That even in ruin, there is beauty. Even in silence, there is music. Even in darkness, there is light waiting to be born again. Destruction is not the end. It is transformation. From chaos comes creation. From ruin, light is born again. And as Webb continues its grand survey of the heavens, it reminds us that the universe itself is still becoming.